Frequency seasons and themes. How often do you podcast? Your choice of when or how often you podcast is based on your time and resources, as mentioned already in the course. But one of the things we're going to be discussing is some options to avoid overwhelm. So to avoid overwhelm, you need to make sure that you understand how much work is required to do the podcast format that you've chosen to do. So the only way you're going to really know that is by making some early assessments as to what your time currently is and then try and work out how much time and energy you can devote to your episodes to achieve the outcome that you want. Now, here's the thing is, in creating your podcast, you could take as much time as you need to put all your episodes together in what we call batching. So I'm going to talk about batching briefly in a moment, and I have alluded to it throughout the course, but it's a great strategy for avoiding overwhelm. And the frequency at which you post and publish your podcasts is also going to help you manage how much workload you actually have in producing your podcast. Now, frequency is important when it comes to managing your time and resources because how often you upload is going to determine how much work you actually have to produce and in what time you have to produce it. So if you have a team of people producing your podcast, then it goes without saying that your workload is likely to be lighter. So you may be able to upload episodes or publish episodes more frequently. So daily episodes or weekly episodes are a lot more resource intensive than say fortnightly or monthly. Now, there is no right or wrong here. Podcasters, I've heard say, show up every day and produce podcasts every day. And that can be a lot of work, particularly if there's no return on investment early. So I've tried this strategy myself where I've uploaded every day. And I've also tried a strategy where I post at regular intervals, say fortnightly. And what I've found is as long as you show up on particular times and days, that people are going to follow you. Whether you get a following quicker by going daily or weekly, I haven't seen anything to suggest that that is the case. And a lot of the reason that is, is because people find your podcast when they find your podcast. Does it give you some traction early from a podcast launch strategy? It can if you want to put episodes up early, but understand having consistency in the frequency at which you upload is probably more important than how many episodes you actually upload. So work out what resources and time you have to produce your podcast and then work to a schedule that works best for you. Now, seasons and series can be a good way to manage your time and also resources. So seasons provide a great way to manage actual podcast production, and they also provide clarity and content consistency for your audience. So you can consider series and seasons as very similar in that a season is something where you produce a grouping of podcasts or episodes that are often around a theme, which I'll come to in a moment. But the concept is, is that you have a start and finish within a season. So you don't post on going and that your season's limited to a certain amount of episodes, similar like a TV series or something like that, which brings me to a series. A series tends to be a grouping of podcasts, like a playlist, where it sort of evolves and continues a storyline from the start or the very first episode to the end. So it's often required that you listen to the first or early episodes to get an understanding of what is happening over time. Whereas with a season, that's not as important. So technically, seasons and series are similar, but a series tends to have a consistent movement from a starting point to an end point over a period of episodes, whereas a season is a grouping of similarly themed episodes. Which brings me to themes. Themes are a good way of pivoting. So you can create seasons and series around themes, and by having a theme, it will allow you to potentially change or pivot in different directions based on what has resonated with your audience. So when we talk about niching down, it may be that there are a number of different topics within your niche that need more than one episode to be discussed. So 
by having a theme and saying, okay, here we're going to be talking about whatever the topic is for a period of four or five or six episodes, then that would be a grouping or a theme of episodes that are based around a particular topic within your particular niche. But you can then pivot based on the feedback that you get into another series of themed podcast episodes. The advantage of that is it it allows that your podcast not to get too stale. And it also means that by slightly pivoting and navigating, you can actually extend the life of potentially, you know, season-based or series-based podcasts. So themes are a good way to actually manage your podcasts over a period of time so that you don't become bored with the topics and your audience doesn't become bored with the topics.